Aj, nem lesz ez egyébként olyan jó dolog, hogy ide jövünk és megzavarjuk ezt az egészet, főleg, hogy így gyűlöl minket, mint a szart. Jó, mindegy, majd meglátjuk. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal I'll in strength to our mourning you. her loss. I'll miss our fights. And it is in that spirit that you. I'd like to talk about Holly. what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be now you stubborn will never and die from patient, indifference. Rash lead a and tedious thoughtful. life. How she carried Bye, a torch sweetheart. for the old ways, Thanks for, for tradition, for mm. pageantry, and most of all, it seems how Lily loved, you were a dearly big, loved bright, her shining friend star and family. In this shit she hole of a being town, and, and I miss you already, Grant. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And no, who's my girl? Moment of silence. Thank you. No, the first. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's the the fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I nem hiába Crane szabadult meg tőle. Cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. That would ish. That would ish. No, I deserve to know. No. How's a slug job? This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? Snow, 
Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, all right? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this one, oh, oh, we yes. need more than hmm. jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all this up so badly. Oh. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. No, Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. We really should go. And we will, okay? Two minutes. This is important, too. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Ja, ist okay, boah, fass. Oh, mein Hát meg is lesz el sérülve barátom, nem csak a beszélgetés miatt. Én is a munka miatt vagyok itt. És bazd meg már is tudják. De honnan a faszba? Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right uh... now. <sighs> so what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not. What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. No, no, that's better. Everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I said, all right already. Just go. And go we shall as men of our word. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. Oh, huh. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, boss, man. That's boss for so much. Holly! 
I got it done. Picsába, picsába. Hát akkor itt mit kellett volna vele? Bár ketten voltak két fegyverrel, most igazából ha az egyiküktől elrúgom a fegyvert, akkor meg mindig a másik fog érte nyúlni vagy elkapni, szóval szerintem mindahogy lelőttek volna. Mindegy. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> you are Don't go looking boss, for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. And Just remember yeah. what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover? <coughs> Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan. Currently. But, I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... Oh, it's I know. I'm going to be special. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. Any time. Yeah, I'd like to
Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened. Oh, I beat you when I was scared at one. I only heard them. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. I was just too scared to show my face. Thank you for asking. I was just too naive. We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Yeah, we took it out. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a. Green must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Yeah. Yes. Nekik most nem éppen egy vicces pillanat. Setting down fuel. Oh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah, Buffkin. Do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? No, Carla got up to do for boss. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that, whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his uh, you, glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting at two a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me. I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it. Okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know the cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert? I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff, and none of you were chosen to run this office. Had the day, it's your ass, not a false shot. Who elected to get my money? 
Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <laughs> I've wasted a lot of time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I have no interest in Logi, kus, ha már öljön, sétot, What concerns me is you take some a kulcsot, be kell rúgni az ajtót, aztán kész, neki az a kedve igazát igazából. We can't just let Bluebeard run a mock in Crane's place. He's after something, I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the snivelling weasel chickened out. Never win anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Na, döntés. Nincs sok időnk. Hát... Aj, nem tudom. Nem hiszem, hogy az ő irat. Bár, hogyha együtt dolgoztak a Crane-nel, akkor, akkor lehet, hogy náluk is van valami, de szerintem, hogy Liliék, ez kéne a Tripsrap bemenni. Ja, a Holit. Holly The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to 